Dopamine is the feel-good neurohormone. Dopamine. The feel-good neurohormone. Dopamine. Most of us have a dopamine burst after something we do that feels good. Burst. Drinking a glass of water, getting a reward, eating, that kind of thing. And it also helps us to know what's important, what to pay attention to, to know what's important. So dopamine isn't well managed in a brain that experiences psychosis. Sometimes the dopamine burst happens randomly Mm. all the time. So maybe there's too much dopamine going on. So if I were to walk into my office, for example, and I would see a chair, uh, a window, maybe a plant, you know, the desk. Normally, I would pay attention to what's sitting on my desk, the chair, if I'm cold or hot, getting ready to comfort myself, because that work sitting on my desk is important. But if I'm having too much dopamine in my brain, kind of bursting out randomly, then suddenly everything becomes important. Everything becomes important. It's hard to distinguish how they're all connected. Is the lamp connected with the desk somehow? Or is the desk connected with the chair How is the window involved? Is there somebody outside the window? The brain is trying to make a pattern where there isn't one. It's working furiously and it comes up with something that isn't quite right because the neurohormonal balance is not regulated well. So when everything is important and everything is going on, our brain kind of overloads. When the brain is overstimulated, it wants to just shut down, kind of ignore everything, and then we get very flat don't want to move. Folks who struggle with these kinds of experiences tend to state themselves feeling like if they ever reached out, they would just get criticized yet again. Apathy and like not caring, they're lazy, they have no feelings, but Mm -hmm. there seem to be this kind of mechanism related to hypersensitivity. The world is just too much. Hypersensitivity. The world expects too much of you. If we're growing up in a home where there's really a lack of affection, nobody to share good or bad experiences with, nobody to talk a process through with, then we have no foundation for building a self, really. We have no feedback from the rest of the world. There's no ground with which to build figures that enter into our world. No ground with which to build, no ground 